I've been a commercial fisherman for 53 years in the whole Lake Athabasca. I had never, ever seen deformed fish in my younger days. And I had lost at least eight members of my family on country. Sometimes when I, when I think about it, I get pretty upset what they had done to our lake and then our waters and whatever we have over there to survive on. It's sad to say this, but it's true, you know. We need help. One person in the audience is already doing what he can. In the 1970s, freshwater scientist David Schindler's research led to banning harmful phosphates in detergents. Later, he was pivotal in the global fight to curb acid rain. Now, he's turning his attention to the oil sands. Over the years, Schindler has watched governments turn water monitoring in the Athabasca River over to industry-funded consultants. The Alberta government claims the oil sands leave the Athabasca River unpolluted. But Schindler was not convinced. He decided to independently test for toxins in the river, and if he found them, to determine their source. With funding from science foundations in the U.S., Schindler gathered an international team of scientists, including mercury expert Aaron Kelly and toxicologist Jeff Short. Short led research on the Exxon Valdez oil spill and the carcinogenic compounds it released into the environment. These pollutants are emerging pollutants. The first time it was really shown that at low concentrations they could have long-term impacts was at the Exxon Valdez. Sea otters and some of the waterfowl are still being affected 18 years after the spill. A lot of these same compounds are in high concentrations in the tar sands. They're toxic at parts per trillion. We're sampling for metals and pH, and we're looking at uh, different media, including fish, water, vegetation. Uh, in the wintertime, we did snow sampling. 